today is kind of an exciting day. Um, I found an enclosed trailer on Marketplace a couple days ago, and they're really hard to find, but I found one that I liked. And so, long story short, I uh, got it after being like third in line, and I'm on my way to pick it up now. So I got Danny with me, oh. my part-time employee. I got the cash, so uh, we're ready to go. Uh, I'll check it out, make sure nothing's damaged on it or anything. It all looked good from the pictures, so fairly confident. Well, we got it um, behind me right now. I don't know if you can see. Um, just leaving Edmonton now. Now we're heading to Lacombe so I can pick up some Lindab gutter that I ordered for the saloon and bunkhouse, which I'll get to later this fall. So, yeah, um, the trailer had a bit more damage than what was described, but it's nothing crucial. He said the roof didn't leak or anything, and it didn't look like the floor looked fine, so it almost looked like a tree had fallen on the roof or something, but I might be able to fix that, but it's a tool trailer, so it's going to get beat up anyways, and any little welding things, I know a guy who can weld that up for me, so all in all, pretty good deal. Um, if I wasn't going to take it, someone else was, so, and it's kind of exactly what I wanted, so, yeah, we'll uh, pick up those gutters, and when we stop, I'll show you around a little so it's the next day, uh, it was just too late last night to um, do anything when we got back, it was dark and yeah, but uh, this here is the trailer, um, so it's an 18 foot by 8 and a half foot I think, it was advertised as a 20 foot but it doesn't really matter to me still be able to fit 16 foot boards in it um, on the outside it looks not too bad like you know the odd cosmetic issue but it's an 06 so that's sort of what you expect um, what I'm working on right now is I got some new shackles to put on here because these ones are terrible they barely fit around those other shackles um, so yeah, let's take a look inside. I bought some locks for it as well. <clears throat> now, the issues with the roof, I don't know, you can kind of see there. I'll get a per better perspective. Um, but I think a tree must have fell on it or something. Because see that repair? So that steel support was obviously broken. And somebody tried to Mickey Mouse it back together, but whatever, um, you know, it it works. Um, so yeah, there's like some tie downs in here, you know, and I mean, not much else. The wiring situation, some of the marker lights are out, but that's not a big deal. That's easy to change the bulbs, um, but. Yeah, what I got in here is just some Lindab gutter. This is going to go on the saloon and bunkhouse later on. I went to Lacombe to pick that up. Um, I guess I could open up the back door and sort of show you. never noticed that before. I guess this spring should hook that back on. Then the door won't fly open and smack against the side. Um, looks like somebody backed into something there, but I mean, other than that, this thing's a little beat up, but that won't be hard to take that out, bend it back. Um, what else can I say about it? I guess I'll just open up the back door. So... Yeah, I'll have to, I want to put some E-Track in here. E-Track is sort of like a, as close to infinite fastening system as you can get. And then what I really like about it is it's got this flip out thing. So when I go to wheel my brake up here, it's a nice smooth transition. And it's a very low angle on the round door, so it's not a slipping hazard in the winter. 
Oh yeah, that's another thing. That hinge is broken. So just get that welded back up. But yeah, I mean, the springs are all good. Both cables are there. A lot of times you see one cable's broken off or something like that. But yeah, that's the ramp door. And I specifically wanted one with a ramp door because those stupid barn doors are useless. So this way I can, you know, wheel the compressor up, wheel the brake up, table saw, all that good stuff. So, yeah, um, I will, I guess, start loading some stuff in here and take this stuff out. I got a job going on in Unity right now, a roof. So there's some stuff I need to take there tomorrow, so I guess that's what I'll do. All right, so I'm just working on cleaning this out a little bit. Um, this guy had like random cleats and stuff all screwed down to the floor, so uh, those are of no use to me. So I'm just gonna find, looks like there's a million different head screws in there, but I'll uh, dig through and Pull all this stuff what I'm off. working on now is building some shelving in here. I just threw this together quick because it was getting very out of hand and I had a job going on and I just needed to quit tripping over stuff because we had material stacked in here and whatnot. But I didn't film much of this process because there was a lot of profanity involved. Finding those studs, getting those self tappers in, you can tell multiple attempts on all of them but and then you know the risk of poking through the other side and whatnot but we won't get too much into that we'll focus on the shelves themselves now and how i found this radius was fairly simple all i did was took the like snapped a line from there to there and found out what that distance was so i cut a block at that and then i just took a piece of plywood, shoved it in to where the corners were square, then just scribed with that block and that gave me the exact radius. So now I just took out one of the shelves and I'm gonna cut the final one. I'll just cut it with a jigsaw and that radius is pretty much perfect. Fits in there really nice. So this next shelf is cut out almost ready to go in but i'm just taking this opportunity just to put some screws in here the shelves did fit in quite tight but just so they don't bounce around but you can see how nice that radius traced i've seen some other videos of guys doing this on youtube and i don't know how they did it but it sure didn't look like this but yeah the top one should fit just the same it doesn't hit anything different so yeah and then this top shelf I'll just throw like the levels and tracks and whatnot just smaller stuff keep it up out of the way but you can see I got this lip on here well I got my boards on um, these should all be the same height as those shelves this one will be lower um, I left a space there but for the shelf on this side, I think I'll put a shelf at that height as well. But now I'll just get the E-Track back on and we should be good to go on this side. Now that's all done, um, some just better fastening points with that middle one. Hoses hang there nicely. Now onto this shelf on this side. So like I say, it'll be pretty much exactly like that one. Um, but yeah, you'll see how it goes together. So I got the first little bit of it going here. I got those self tapped in and then I'm just establishing this post which will all be tied in that way then I'll probably toe screw it to the floor just so it doesn't want to jump around or anything 
But yeah, I brought it right to the end of that wheel well because I pulled that trim piece off and there actually was a stud there. And it looks like there's a stud over here too, but I'll get it a lot closer to eight feet if I go to that one. Um, I'll basically just be able to use a stud length two by six across the top, which I have quite a few of over there. I should mention most of this is built with recycled lumber, by the way, um, that we took out of a house that we're just working on right now. Um, yeah, everything but the plywood essentially yeah, came out of that house. You can see because it's got the electrical stuff in there. But yeah, I'll keep working on this. Just mark out whereabouts the shelves are going to go. That'll be the first one. Then I'll have the top one just to hold this steady but yeah it's coming along good so it's starting to take shape here uh, i'm just getting the two by four pieces in to hold the plywood and then you can see with the two by six that'll go on the front it'll have that nosing to keep everything in so and then i don't know if i mentioned but i'll extend the top shelf all the way across just to put any longer things but yeah that'll be a nice little shelving unit once I get it finished. So that's pretty much it for the shelf. Um, now just sort of getting everything organized. I think I'll probably want to put most of the tools here just because it'll be most accessible and then I'll have like fasteners, like, you know, boxes of screws and stuff up there. Like I already sort of have just a pile of miscellaneous fasteners and stuff like that. So that's just probably what I'll keep up front mainly. And then hopefully a lot of the tools will fit back here. I got the tracks, some of the levels up there, and then up there just more levels and the skinnier tools. So that up top storage is nice, just keeps that stuff from getting stepped on. Um, but yeah, I'll get this stuff sort of moved over kind of where I might want it. So I sort of got everything loaded in here kind of the way I like it for now. Um, I don't know, probably won't keep all my tools in here all the time, just because I don't think that's a very good idea, given that enclosed trailers get stolen all the time. I do have a hitch lock on it, but that don't do much. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I wanted to go with shelving rather than drawers or cabinets, just because like I always say, I'm lazy. I want everything to be as accessible as possible, visible so I know exactly where it is, easy to take out, easy to put away. You can sort of keep semi-organized that way without having to allocate a whole lot of extra time to organizing. But yeah, I got E-Track here also, just sort of left some flat wall space to strap stuff to. That got built over the fender well, obviously. And then top shelf goes all the way across because it doesn't really interfere with much space. And then I did put some of that vertical E-Track on the floor, just so, like, where's the break gonna go? But, I mean, just tie it down so it doesn't bang against the walls and stuff. But, 
Yeah, I mean, anything like that I could strap to the floor if I had a stack of lumber or something, just so it doesn't tip over. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for now. I will get E-Track to put on the faces of these, mainly just to hang stuff, like the hoses, like let's say I wanted to move them over or whatever, it'll be handy to have there. You can buy all sorts of little hooks and stuff, hang your pouch off there or whatever. So it'll just be handy that way. I better grab that coil before it bends it. it got windy out all of a sudden. But yeah, I'll uh, see what I can come up with next. So thank you guys for watching part one of the enclosed trailer build out, I guess you could call it. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to put a roof rack on it and put my logo on the side of it. So that should be fun. So we'll see you in the next one.